guys so in this video i'm going to show you that how can you add some trigonometric function with uh, your required exponential power so uh, you know that how uh, you can go to insert and then go to this equation to add the trigonometric function but if you click on this and if you go to so if you want to add a trigonometric function you need to use this function option and you need to use the trigonometric functions which are available in this um, in this section so as you can see you have like trigonometric function which is sine cosine tangent cosec um, cosecant uh, secant and co and cot function like cotangent function so uh, like these are the basic functions but they does not include the power like they doesn't include the exponent on top of this so, so let's say if you want to add sine square theta so you can't use this to add that sine square theta now if you go over here you have an inverse function but it is the kind of an inverse function we have given so there, there is the power you can't change over here this is the hyperbolic function uh, then this is the inverse hyperbolic function and this is the common function that you can use so now in order to make the exponential function with some power let's say sine square sine cube what you can do you can use this inverse function and change the power so let's say i want to use sine cube theta so i click on this and over here i will write the i will select the theta and if i go to this i will delete this thing and I can write cube so in this way you can get uh, exponential trigonometric function just by uh, removing the default inverse coefficient like inverse um, exponent or inverse power to get your required power or your required exponent so that's where you can um, easily write uh, exponential trigonometric function so I hope this video will be helpful to you. If you like, if you if you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe my channel, guys, man. Thank you.